and David own two houses, but they can only afford one. We've totally messed up a lot of stuff. They bought a new house before selling their old house. I mean, this really sucks. Problem is, no one wants their old house in its current shape. OK, that is blue. What the heck is going on over here? It's ugly. It is ugly. <laughs> Looks like a job for critical listing. Let's okay. go make 100000 Yes. No problem. <laughs> estate agent Lisa Kolalilo, and I'm meeting Kim and David. They bought their new house on the spur of the moment, and now they need to sell their current place for top dollar. What's the situation here exactly? Well, we found a really great bungalow. The place is fantastic. Exactly what we wanted and needed bang on. So have you closed on the new house yet? Soon. OK, so very soon you're going to have two mortgages, two bills, a lot of fun but, stuff. <laughs> OK, you need to sell this house then. We need to sell this house quickly for top dollar. So what do you think your house is worth today? Uh, we should be able to get 850000 at least. We can't not get $850,000. We have our kids' educations to save for. Our son Sky is completely nuts about soccer, and that's expensive. Our son Tao has special needs, and we need money for that. You know, ideally, <laughs> we'd get a little more. There's going to be certain things that are going to be required that the inside and outside have in order to meet the expectations of the potential buyers in this neighborhood. Right. There's a few things that need a little bit of work. Mostly um, fluff stuff, though. Yeah. Why don't I go inside, take a look, that would be and lovely. then I'll meet you guys out here in a little bit. OK, okay thank you so much. Thank you guys soon. OK, thank you. The curb appeal is what's going to get a buyer in the door, especially in this neighborhood. They're expecting something inviting, looks well-maintained, none of which is happening around here. I mean, the only splash of color is this yellow fire hydrant right in the middle of the front yard. What the heck is going on over here? These stairs are the scariest looking stairs I've ever seen. Staircase needs to be this, The staircase sucks. Nice, big, open concept family room. Now this is a beautiful kitchen. Is it enough to get Kim and David the 850 they think this house is worth? We'll have to check out the rest of it. Wow. This is a tiny room. And as a family bathroom, this is going to be an issue. Yeah, a little bit of fluffing, you know, purge. OK, random closet off the hallway. Does not make sense. We'll have to address this, too. OK, so good size room. The other thing is there's no ensuite in here. That's going to be something that's going to bring the dollar value down for the seller. Closets. I'm going to get the closet door open. That is not what we want to happen to the buyers. Holy moly. There is a lot of stuff in here. It's going to be tough for a buyer to imagine this as a bedroom. Dark blue paint, exposed drywall, stuff absolutely everywhere. It's full of comic books and other geek stuff, and I am a geek. Had a look. What do you think? You have a lovely home. Thank you. And there are some things that definitely need to be handled in order for you to get that $850,000 price tag. Today, what your house is worth the way it is right now is actually $750,000. Oh. But the good news is that your neighborhood will definitely support $850,000, provided that we take care of some of these issues that are in the house right now. But how much is that going to cost us? Well, that's my next question to you, is what budget do you have set aside that we can use to update this house? I think we could probably come up with 15000 Max, max, yeah. 15,000. That's including, like, you know, line of credit, whatever. Yeah. Yes. You do that. Yeah. What I need to do is go back to the team and find out from them if they can stretch that $15,000 to attack everything that needs to be done in this house. Okay? okay. All right. Fingers crossed. 
the deal. Okay. Kim and David need to boost their home's value by $100,000 on a budget of just 15 grand. Design and landscape experts Joe Alcorn and Carson Arthur need to get creative big time. Hi, Lisa. Hey. Very yeah. cool little neighborhood. I like it. Isn't it nice? Yeah, absolutely. So Kim and David, they need $850,000 out of the current home. Problem is, today, their house is worth $750,000. Oh, what kind of budget are we talking about here, though? $15,000 for you to share. Oh. <laughs> then we have $15,000 for materials to make $100,000 in profit on the sale of this house. Oh, OK. Uh, what do we need to do for the $100,000, though? Definitely, first thing is that front yard, Carson. It needs curb appeal, something that's inviting and makes people want to actually go inside. Joe, I'd love for you to take a look at that entryway, because it's not making a very good first impression. And that second floor family bath right now, <laughs> not looking very good. OK. Let's okay. go make $100,000. Yes. No okay. problem. Good luck, Manal. That's easy to do. Oh, I love the fire hydrant. What do you think about the colors? I yeah. don't mind them, but you could always just freshen it up a little bit. What's going on with these garbage cans? Yeah, I don't think they can fit down there. It's ugly. It is ugly. <laughs> the street is really quaint and charming. And it's a big house. Here's the first thing, the stairs. I like rustic, though. This is not rustic. Wow. This needs to be addressed. Wow, I'm so glad I do outside. We gotta make this a master bathroom and a more efficient bathroom. Oh, this is the master, I guess. This doesn't really feel like a master bedroom. What? You need a walk-in and you need the ensuite. What is this, storage? I think this is yeah. an office. Is it? Wow. Okay, we need to show how many rooms are up I here. I think there are two offices. Is that not an office as well? Okay, that is blue. Office number two. Wow. I love that it matches your shirt. I think buyers just won't understand this room. Okay, <laughs> I got a fire hydrant. Yeah, you got a big yellow fire hydrant. But it's a nice color. Right. Yellow. I'm hoping you can hide that somehow. Well, it depends how much money you give me. So do you think we could do it for 15000 all together? <laughs> um... <laughs> uh, uh, $15,000 for materials on this house is going to be tight. I, I could easily use 7500 to do a front yard to give this the impact that the other houses have already started to do. That leaves me barely anything to do. A bathroom, a hallway, It leaves you 50%. Solving that bathroom situation up there is going to be very appealing to potential buyers. I can't leave it as is. I can probably do it for $10,000. And I'm being really clever with my money if I have to do it for $10,000. Well, apparently it's the first time. Um, I will do this front yard for the $5,000 that's left over. But, I mean, I really want to address some key issues here, because if I don't, we're not going to get the money we need for this house. I think we got a deal, guys. <laughs> OK. You owe me a coffee after this one. Just so I was know. thinking a hard drink. <laughs> oh, well, you can open one of those, too. I'll really get you a coffee. That's way cheaper. Carson's $5,000 budget has to result in major curb appeal, while Joe's $10,000 must turn the stairs and second floor into a head turner. So I totally didn't get all the money I wanted for this project, but that's OK. I can still make it look amazing. I just can't paint the front of the house. But what I can do is redesign this front yard so that it increases the home's value, which totally is what it needs. I'm going to use $3,000 of my $5,000 budget to create a courtyard. $1,500 goes towards a neat trick to hide the garbage bins and $500 for plants. But first, we're ditching that wonky walkway. Good try now. Did you do anything over here yet? Well, we removed all the trim on this door. OK, because that's getting closed up. That's going to be closed up. So now they have a beautiful walk-in closet, which they didn't have before. And my plan is to spend $500 on painting the stairs and adding a runner, and the same amount painting the bedrooms. $9,000 will rework and connect the main bath, walk-in closet, and master bedroom. But it all hinges on moving the toilet. If we do have room in the stack to move it over, then all is good. If we don't, back to the drawing board. Kim and David have bought a new home and will soon have two mortgages. We need to sell this house quickly for a top dollar. We've got $15,000 to boost their current home's value by a hundred grand. So we're on the hunt for deals. Getting close to my color scheme, I think I want a little bit more gray. Oh, here we go. 
This is actually perfect. When choosing tile, you always want something that has a little bit of that grip to it, especially in a bathroom when there's water involved. It just helps avoid those slips. Now I just need a wall tile. For fixed elements, rule number one is make choices that appeal to the most buyers. Ooh, these colors are perfect. It's neutral, but it gives a little bit of you know, punch to that wall. Having that sheen is actually going to bounce the light, making the bathroom seem bigger, which is great for any space. Price is right. Just need to see if it's in stock. Okay. All yours. I totally love a challenge, and the fire hydrant is definitely one of those. So I'm actually going to buy a planter. I'm going to fill the planter with some really bright colored plants. The fire hydrant's still there, but visually, it's not the most important thing in the garden. Instead, my beautiful planter is. I think this is probably the right one. It's got the right height, and I like the color. I like that it's not black, so that it won't highlight the fire hydrant. And if I give it a little bit of height, plant some bright yellow colors in it, I think it's going to be the answer to my problems. That's us. Look at this. I want one of those on our lawn. As we do the big fix on their current place, Kim and David are getting a reminder of the end game, their new home. <laughs> oh my goodness, it's so bright. It's not like we have a lot of extra money. We just did this crazy thing and bought our dream home, and we're really excited about it. But if we don't see another $100,000, we're up the creek. And look, Dave, only one staircase. Yes. Only one staircase. We don't have to do anything here. We don't here. have to do anything. We don't have to do no, anything here. Super... We just have to move in our furniture. Well, we have to sell our house. The pessimist in me still says there's no way that 15 grand is going to make 100. Well, we're sure going to try. There's a ton of decisions and work left, and this house has to hit the market pronto. Let's throw them out so we can get a better look at them. Whenever I'm looking to pick a piece of flagstone, I try and pull colors that are either in the house or something that I want to build up in the garden. Oh, wow. Um, is this somebody's water? Okay, nobody's owning it. Oh, wow, look at the color on that wire. That's beautiful. I hate to ask it. Which one's more expensive? Well, you're holding it. <laughs> No. That's roughly double. That's double. That's double. <sighs> but I love the texture of that. I mean, this has got a nice color, but look at the texture. That's got awesome character. Uh, OK, so let's go with that stone, and I will figure out how to make the money work. OK. You know. <laughs> I'll smile go. pretty at Joe. She'll give it to me, no problem. For sure. <laughs> let's try that. Great. The wall is open. So that's good. Closed up. It's coming there, Ryan. Hey, Joe, how are you? Good. Can we move the toilet? We can move the toilet. Are you serious? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's my not going to affect anything. It's good. Perfect. You do have good news sometimes. We got bad news. Oh. We found a vent inside this wall you want moved going up to the second floor. It, is it functional? It's functional. So, what do we, can we, we can just move it, though. Well, right? I can move it. It's going to be pretty costly, though. Always. There's always a price. So, can we just leave it, or what, what else can we do with it? Well, your vanity is what, 18 inches, you said? Mm -hmm. You want to get a smaller vanity? That's one option. No, that's not an option. Second okay. option is to relocate this. That vent has to move. I don't have room in my budget to move it, so I don't even know where I'm going to get that money. What? Ryan found a vent in the wall that we were trying to remove to make the bathroom bigger. Okay. And it's going to cost money. How much did Ryan actually say this was going to cost? $1,000. Yeah. Cool. I know. Can we scrap some things like maybe the runner on the stairs? It's already ordered. It's sitting in the living room. That kind of sucks. You know I would give you the money if I could. But ultimately, I'm like right at the top edge of my own budget. Like, I could even use more money in this space if I had it. I don't know. I know that's not the answer you wanted, but maybe we have to ask them stuff about this. Maybe she can get more money from the homeowners. <laughs> Sorry, I know you wanted to hear, but I don't I don't have any other options for you right now. Hey guys. <laughs> Come with a peace oh, offering. Thank you. Just coffee? Hey, what's going on? What's happening? Joe. Okay. Well, I need a little bit more money. I've run into a situation in the bathroom that puts me back. There's a vent in the wall that I need to move to be able to make the bathroom larger. I need to be able to remove that vent and relocate it. And that's going to cost money. How much money? A thousand more. 
Carson. Yeah, look at me. We don't me. have Carson it. Carson won't yeah. help me. Ultimately, I don't have any money to give her. In fact, I was hoping for money from Joe's budget because I need a nicer stone for this front yard. These houses, they're spending a lot of money. And this house that we're working on needs to look just as good. I mean, I want to use that expensive stone. If I can't use it, I have to drop down. I'm going to be below what the other neighbors are using in the same neighborhood. Have you already ordered that tile? No, I have not ordered the stone yet. Don't go there, Lisa. In this neighborhood, adding that ensuite to the master, that's going to add a lot more value than the higher end stone in the front yard. So my budget's getting slashed, is what I'm hearing. <laughs> I guess you get $1,000. All right, apologize. I will make it work. You are so going to hold me for this one because that's huge. I yeah. do. I need a stronger drink than coffee. Thank you. These less expensive pavers will do the trick and help the bathroom become a showstopper. This space is so much bigger now before it was so crammed. And this used to be where the door to the bathroom used to lead into this very awkward hall. We've now filled that in. We've actually added the shiny tile, which is always nice for a small space because it bounces off the light and gives it a larger feel. Then we got the beautiful tile that still needs to be grouted. But the nice part about this is it has multiple colors. So it's going to hide a lot of the dirt. And the beautiful showstopper is the door into the master bedroom, creating the ensuite. Oh, looks like I've done this before. Next. Now, one of the first things I saw when I came to this yard was Kim and David's garbage cans. They don't fit down the side of the house. So we're going to make them a space to actually look like they belong. And this is it. We're going to do a panel here, another one here. And this becomes a functional and yet aesthetic front yard. Now everything has its place. It looks good. It's functional, easy on garbage day. And best of all, the garbage cans aren't the first thing the buyers see when they pull up to the house. Inside, we're making good time with the splintery stairs using stain and a runner. The two bedrooms are being primed within an inch of their lives and painted lighter. So I'm putting a row of tall shrubs across the front of my panel, not just because I want to soften the look, but at the same time, I want these to act as a backdrop to a bench. Now, for me, I love putting benches in front yards. It just makes the space feel more welcoming. I love the fact that my team is not only on budget, we're on time. We only have a few more things to do on the panels, finish off some of the flagstone, and then planting, and we're done. And this front yard, yeah, Joe's going to be jealous. Wow, the stone, beautiful. Thank you. So this is how I was able to finish my bathroom? This is my compromise stone, yes. I love it. I think it's beautiful. Thanks. But you're almost done. Why do you sound surprised? Because I have so <laughs> much I have to do. Seriously? I'm not talking anymore. What the heck is this? Why would they stain over this? This is going to take forever to paint. This does not look good. Ryan? Hey. Hey, it's Joe. Um, I thought we were supposed to be done already, and the stairs are a mess. The varnish has got to go on first, right? Then you got to paint right up to it. So, but we have to move in all the stuff, so you guys are painting while we're using the stairs to move everything up? You know, we'll probably do when you're moving everything in tomorrow night. Well, we were supposed to do it today. Today? I thought it was tomorrow. No. Right now, I don't even know what I'm happy with because I'm just in a panic that we're not going to get it done. No, I'll call the guys. I'll see you the best, do the best I can to get them in. It's, it's not looking good. Bit of a nail biter, but Joe and crew finish the stairs just before the furniture arrives. So this is what I traded my stonework for? Oh, look at it. The vent is hidden in the back. Beautiful. And I spent the money on uh, other places too. Uh, of course you did. Yes. It's been a long journey <laughs> for me to get to this point, so I'm excited that we're done and I get to show off all my projects to the homeowners. I love that you said it's a long journey for you. Oh my gosh. This is curb appeal. Color, dimension. I almost didn't even see this fire hydrant. 
I couldn't really make the hydrant disappear, but what I could do was make those bright yellow and green colors sort of blend in with the rest of the space. Now the fire hydrant isn't a focal point. The garbage is nicely hidden, so people won't see that from the curb. Perfect. Such a simple idea. You put in panels, you hide the garbage cans, but you make the panels look good. So aesthetically, it's a win-win in the garden. Oh, this looks amazing. The first impression was being spoiled by a rundown staircase. Now, the dark stained wood, the white pickets, and the runner, no buyer is going to be worried that there's anything wrong with this house. Oh, wow. Now you can see the amount of space in here. Buyers really can't visualize rooms when they're all cluttered. So if you can simplify them, they're going to get excited and they're going to love the space. What a change. It's now light and bright. The drywall's been repaired and looks in great condition. And with all the clutter gone, this looks like a lovely home office. Oh, this is gorgeous. Our ensuite doors. What's going to add value is creating the ensuite from the master bedroom to the bathroom. Um, also, creating a walk-in closet where before it was just a, a random weird room. So now we've really put together a proper master bedroom for buyers to love. Oh, wow. This bathroom is so big. Now we've got storage. It's bright. It's modern. This is going to increase the value of the home. Oh, oh, my God. So better good. Now. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I'm so glad everyone is feeling the love. Let me just take you back to when we first met, and we evaluated your home at $750,000. Yeah. Because we had to do some work to it. And now that Joe and Carson have tackled those projects and made your house way more appealing to the potential buyer for this neighborhood, your house can be listed for... $875,000. Are you serious? Oh, oh, my God. Yeah. Oh, that's amazing. Oh, thank you so much. Oh, yeah. $875,000. <laughs> I was blown away. All the work I did actually paid off. So I can relax and let her do the rest. I'm really excited because this front yard not only looks like it belongs in the neighborhood, but at the same time, it looks almost a little bit better, if I do say so myself, than the other houses on the street. Can you guys come and help us with the new house, too? No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say yes. <laughs> I'll come. <laughs> well, with Lisa's evaluation, we get $25,000 more than we were expecting. So... We can totally make my man cave awesome. I was thinking a holiday. Holiday cave. We can holiday have a holiday. Cave. We can have a awesome. holiday. We can have a holiday in my man cave. <laughs> you think that when you have kids, you know, I can't wait till they're a little older and they can kind and it'll of get easier. They can do stuff on their own. <laughs> and you know what the worst thing is? Is that they can do things on their own, but they, but don't. they don't. You know, get me something to drink. Well, you know, the fridge is right there. Yeah, I don't want. Yeah, but to. I want you to get it for me. I want me. you to get it for me, please. <laughs> For more information about this show, please visit hgtv.ca.